Here comes the King Slayer. I think the look of confidence on the face of Seth Rollins says it all. He is ready. Rollins, one of the greatest of this generation. Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. Rollins thrives and is driven by people doubting him, by people saying that he can't do something. Rollins will do it just to silence them and smile in their face. The monster among men is here! The earth is trembling with each step. Strowman's an absolute force of nature. Terrifyingly powerful. Hey, Michael, remember that time he threw you around? <laughs> yeah, Byron, because I'm a man and I stand up for myself. I don't run away and hide in the locker room like a little girl. I remember things slightly differently. I was there too, but someone is going to get these hands. Plenty of star power in this tag team match, guys, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, Michael. In fact, if you ask me, all four of these competitors have what it takes to be top single stars here in the WWE. to the ring at a combined weight of 602 pounds Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman and their opponents at a combined weight of 505 pounds they are the Raw Tag Team Champions Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows the club.
Stay tuned. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. When I think of tag teams oh, that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. You gotta believe this one's over. Nailed it. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. What a strike. Seth Rollins. A few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the W. He fights his way free, but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? Picture perfect drop kick. Also by Charles Schultz. I hate you. And there's his speed paying off. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. The ref's out. No good to come of this, Michael. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a bro kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double count out. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. What should Carl Anderson's mindset be at this point in time? Corey, a few moments. How do you do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Dodge that one. Luke Gallows tagged in. Oh, 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 what a boot! Not the fall that hurts, it's the 
sudden stop at the end. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Oh, impactful slam! Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. A great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He better hope he can sustain this. Well, the architect is rolling now. Oh my God! Wow, breathtaking. Boom! Oh, what an elbow! I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. And here we go. Step one, what impact. This one. One, two, three. Now that's an impressive tag team victory. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Man, this was great. These superstars didn't exactly set the world on fire, but this match had its moments, as we see here. One thing I can say about that match is that it had a few interesting moments. Very few. Here are your winners and new Raw Tag Team and Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman. Big win here in tag team action tonight. These two work so well together, Michael. I'd be surprised if they went their separate ways anytime soon. As hard as it will be not to think about that amazing match we just saw, we must move on here, guys.